I don't know if I look like Santa Claus or Hugh Hefner. Either or is fine. Welcome back everyone. Today's video is going to be my Project Use Up for 2023 finale video because we've made it to the end of 2023. So I started this video at the beginning of the year. I picked out seven products that I wanted to use completely up this year, not just pan, not just get a lot of use out of. I wanted to use them all the way up as a personal challenge to me because I have a really hard time finishing off makeup. So I challenged myself to these seven products. I've been doing some updates throughout the year and now is the time to come back and tell you if I finished them or not. I will have the products listed down below, including the makeup that I'm wearing. I'll link my robe in case you're interested, but I will say I'm filming this December 23rd. So I'm getting ready to head off to a holiday party, which is why I'm in holiday wear and well, honestly, I don't know when this video is going up. I'm going to Ireland. Um, I leave the day after Christmas and I will be back January 5th. So I am just pre-filming all my videos right now. So I will have content going up while I'm gone. I wanted to get this video up, hopefully still in 2023. And I just finished filming a Get Ready With Me, talking a little bit about 2024 and some of my goals. So I will have the Get Ready With Me. It'll probably be coming after this video, I'm pretty sure, because that one's going up January 5th. And like I said, I will link everything. And I do have quite a few products on my face that was included in the project use up so like I said I really wanted to try to focus on some of these products to go through them because I have a really hard time going through makeup because I have a larger collection I've been on YouTube since 2015 so I definitely have a larger makeup collection I buy a lot of makeup to test out I do receive a lot of PR but in 2023 this was the year I was cutting back it was my low buy I was cutting back on how much PR I was trying and just how much makeup I was buying and trying in general and I really wanted to put a focus into using my favorite products and using them up it's funny because in like 2016 2017 I would be almost like upset if I went through a product or if I hit pan on it. I would be like, no, 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 like I, I don't want that to happen because I don't want it to be gone I, and I don't want to use it up and I don't want to have to like rebuy another one. So my mindset has it definitely shifted and I'm much more into wanting to go through my favorite products, wanting to use up what I spent my hard earned money on. But sometimes I hear people talk about how they buy like the really expensive designer stuff, you know, fashion products or makeup products and then they don't use them because they want them to still look nice and that's one way to look at it and that's totally fine but for me especially like if I'm I'm spending my money on something and the point the point of it that I'm buying it is to use it like I want to use it so that's why I wanted to have this little challenge to myself and I do think that I want to do this for 2024 as well let me know if you would like to see another project use up video because I would like to challenge myself once again so let's go through some of these products and okay where should we begin I'll start with some lip products because I love lip products now a tricky thing about this video <laughs> was, uh, and I explained this in my last update video, but unfortunately in September, my old apartment got broken into and I had quite a few things stolen from me, including my purse that was still in my home. And uh, in my purse was a lip liner and a lipstick and both were products that I had in the project use up. Very rude. Uh, so uh, when I did my last update video, I put in a different lip liner and lipstick. I didn't really think that I would be able to get through these. Um, you know, I still had a few months, you know, I filmed that in September. So I still had a couple months to go, but I was like, I'm just kind of putting them in here as like replacement products. So like, we'll see how much use I get out of them. But unfortunately that put a little, to, like how great, like, those, there was a couple more lip products that were in there, but the two lip products that were in my project use up, I was like, really? That just, you're just ruining the content in that. You're just ruining the content. So I did put in here from Natasha Denona, this tiny little lip liner, these feathers. <laughs> Feathers are such a vibe. I literally have to click my camera off and get out the door. So it's a, like, I'm dressed. Like I'm dressed and ready to go. I just need to grab the ingredients for the cocktail that I'm making over there, grab my dip and I'm out the door. Um, but the Natasha Denona, this is from the My Dream collection and it's in the shade Natasha. So it is the lip liner that I'm wearing today along with the lipstick that I'll share next. I mean, I rave about this lip, li lip liner. I do sometimes need to put the cap on it to give me like a little bit more space, but like this is pretty good. I'm still, I'm still using it though. I'm not going to give up on this. Like I'm still using this. I have to sharpen it all of the time. I actually just had to go and sharpen it before doing this video. I love this. I describe it as like a my lips, but better. Definitely gotten a ton of use out of this. I bought this myself from Sephora, I believe it was. And I love it. I love the gloss with it. 
I'm making some really good progress on it. I do think that I will use this all the way up and then I'll be very sad because it's a favorite, but luckily I can just repurchase it. I can just buy it again. And then also the lipstick that I decided to put in there. So my, it was my Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude that got stolen. And then it was my MAC Honey Love. Like I have had the MAC Honey Love in Project Pan videos for years. And like, I just, it was my mission to use that baby up. And I was doing such a good job. Again, those were the products that were in my purse. Like I was using them, I was wearing them. I was trying to get the use. I was like full steam ahead on my Project Use Up. Ugh. But I put in there instead from Charlotte Tilbury and this is the very Victoria lipstick So again, it's the lipstick that I'm wearing today. So obviously we're not even close to using this one up I will say that Definitely the last several of months I have gone way into my glosses and my balms Like that is the look that I'm going for right now as a lip liner with a gloss or a balm Like I'm not going to my matte lipsticks as much like I'll still use them every now and again but like I just finished filming my best of beauty for 2023 and I still have my lip products in front of me balm gloss balm lip oil lip oil I have the Ravi Beauty lip balms in front of me like the um, Catrice lip balm like that is what I'm going for right now for lip products so again I just put this one in in September I didn't really think I was going to use it all the way up I just it was probably my most used lipstick you know what I should have put in was my Lawless Beauty lip gloss because I did use that all the way up a couple months ago. Man, I didn't even think about that. That would have been such a good one to put in for this video, even better than the MAC Honey Love. That's okay. But the Charlotte Tilbury Very Victoria, still super beautiful, still one that I'll get a lot of use out of. All right, an eyeliner that I have in here is from Glossier. This is their number one pencil in black. Obviously, I've gotten a ton of good use out of it. I did use it today to tight line. I love the Glossier eyeliners. I have the green one in my waterline today. And again, like putting the cap on, trying to make it a little bit easier when I'm using it. So I haven't used it all the way up, but we're getting there. We're definitely getting there. So not like a complete win. Like I know some people might say like, oh, you could probably call it, but no. Like until I can't like physically hold it anymore, I'm gonna keep using it. One that I did not do very well on is my ColourPop Super Shock, and this is in Kush. I don't think that I did bad. This is broken, so it's a little bit hard for me to show, but definitely you can see there's still a ton of product in here. I just always feel like I can use up Super Shocks because I used to. I used to go through Super Shock shadows so quickly. I would pan them quickly, I would use them up quickly, but now I just don't as much. I mean, obviously I, that was when I was first getting into, you know, building my makeup collection. And now I definitely have a really large makeup collection. I think maybe with this being more of like a, almost like more of like your cool tone, like, like silver taupe for a while. I've been doing more warm tones. Not always, not always by any means. And isn't Kush so pretty? Like that is such a pretty shadow. I definitely do a lot of golds and a lot of like brown smoky eyes, but I tried to always keep this out on my bathroom vanity and if I had times like I was trying to go really quick if I wasn't using the Rare Beauty shadow sticks which I mentioned in my Best of Beauty 2023 if I wasn't reaching for those I would try to remember to reach for Kush and just put this all over my lid and add some liner and mascara so I didn't really come close to making any sort of progress on Kush but I guess I'm also not like super surprised so let's get into some good good now my Charlotte Tilbury powder. So I use this in my uh, get ready with me today. I mean, I will say you can, it's just around the edges here, right? Like it's just around the edges. For me, I prefer to use this on my under eyes. So I will say I use a very small amount of product when I go into this. This can still last me a really long time. And again, I know some people are going to say like, You've used it all the way up, it's good. But especially because it's this powder, so like today I just used a brush from Singe Beauty and went all the way around and then placed it on my under eyes. Or I use like the puff that I have, like the triangle puff from Amazon. I'll use that and it's still really easy for me to pick up product and I still just don't wanna let this go. This is the powder I always keep in my purse for touch-ups. This is always in my clutch. Um, I always keep this and a powder puff in my clutch. If there's ever any times, like if my mascara is getting a little bit smudgy, if I'm like oily at any point, if I feel like I need like a quick blend, I will always have the Charlotte Tilbury with me and my powder puff. It's funny though, because I did purchase the Huda Beauty Easy Bacon Snatch 
in the Sephora sale, so it would have been like late October, early November that I bought this. And you hear me say in videos that I've been using this for my under eyes because I'm like, I'm giving my Charlotte Tilbury a break because I'm almost done with it. That is just me. That's still the, it's the mentality that I'm trying to get out of when it comes to makeup. But I remember there was a certain point, literally like last week that I said it and I was like, Samantha, your Charlotte Tilbury's in your project use up. And then I was trying to go back to the Charlotte Tilbury and by that time I was like, oh man, I do think if I hadn't purchased the Huda Beauty, this would be gone. I do think that. But for, what, almost two months I've been using the Huda Beauty and not as much the Charlotte Tilbury, like just for touch-ups when I'm out. So that was my bad. I could have done a better job at that. But again, it's that like, I don't want it to be gone. Like I don't want it to be over, but I need to... We need to work past that. It's something that we're still clearly working on. You know, we've realized we have a problem. We're trying to work our way through it. Maybe 2024 will be the year that we get there. Maybe. And then we have from LYS, this is their Triple Fix Brightening Concealer. It's the concealer that I use today. And I mentioned this in a recent video. I did Will I Buy It Again? Um, talking about some of the makeup that I've purchased and if I were to use it up, lose it, break it, get it stolen from me, would I buy it again? Uh, and I did mention the LYS concealer and I said that it was in my project use up and like I, when I put this in here, there's no more, there's like, there's like no, like I really have to scrape, 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 scrape the sides and then I'm still like, I'm barely getting anything on the applicator. When I go to use it, I have to come in several times. So we're gonna call this one. I am super, super proud of this. I did not think I would see the day where I pull this out and there's nothing left on the applicator. Like that is so cool to me. This is such a good concealer. You can get it at Sephora. It's at a great price point. It's obviously a favorite of mine. It is so rare for me to go through a concealer. Like so rare for me. I am super proud of this. I'm sad that it's gone, but I will buy it again. I said it in that video and I will buy it again. All right, and then lastly we have from Becca Cosmetics. This is Capri Coast. This is the bronzer that I was attempting to wear today, but I mean, I mean, I did a collection and declutter video recently on bronzers and I asked in there, I was like, what do you guys think? And I pretty, like 99% of people said that bronzer is done. That bronzer is done, girl. And today I was trying so hard. I was like going like this with my brush, trying to swirl everything I could to get every last bit of Capri Coast out. But I love Capri Coast. This is no longer available. Becca Cosmetics is no longer. They have some products with Smashbox, but Becca Cosmetics as a brand is no longer. But we're gonna call it. We're calling it on Becca Capri Coast. She done. She done. So that is everything for my project use up. So we're calling it on Becca and the LYS, Charlotte, pretty much almost gone. My liners, pretty much almost gone. Um, the only ones that don't have a ton of progress, again, is the Super Shock and the lipstick, which the lipstick kind of gets a little bit of a pass. So I think that's pretty good. This also shows me that I don't need to open as many Super Shock. I just have a thing with the Super Shock shadows from ColourPop, I don't know what it is. Like I'll get a new shade and I'll be so excited and I'm like, okay, Maybe I don't need to open as many as I think that I need to. That's good, you know, good self-reflection. Good self-reflection that this video uh, has helped me with. And again, for the lipsticks, I'm just not wearing the matte as much, but I'm sure I'll come back around. You know, preferences are always changing. I'm sure I'll come back around. I'm really proud of going through a concealer and a bronzer. That's pretty wild to me. I have gone through a full, if not two full powders in the past too. And you know, these are my favorite liners and I'm excited that they are getting some love, both eyeliner and lip liner. So I feel like this was a pretty successful project use up. This was my first project use up that I was doing. I've done project pans in the past, but never like a, I'm trying to use these all the way up. I definitely would love to know if you would like to see this in 2024. Would you like to see just a regular project pan or something else when I continue to keep the mindset of cutting back and being a little bit more conscious of the makeup that I'm purchasing, keeping and trying. Um, I would love to know if there's any other topics along that line that you would like to see or any other video ideas. Please leave those in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.